A wise man once said that men today must put in ten times the work for one-tenth of the benefits with women, while his grandfather put in one-tenth the work for ten times the benefits with his grandmother. That's how much things have changed over time. Women have turned relationships into competition with men, and dating has become a psychological catastrophe. People really need to learn the difference between someone dating you and someone dating their perception of you. Even if that person in the beginning was fully serious and wanted to keep seeing you, eventually something about you will be revealed. Every time you talk, every time you hang out, you learn a little bit more about someone you didn't know when your hormones were racing in the beginning. That is when someone can change their mind and no longer want to continue. It doesn't mean they lied to you. It doesn't mean it was a trick. Sometimes it can be if they were a player, but in genuine situations, they liked you then, but no longer based on new behaviors or information. That is life. It sucks, but that is the way it is. Most men wanted serious relationships, but they either got hurt several times, got screwed over in court, or got looked over for so long, and now don't want to be the beta provider. And now they don't want serious relationships anymore because they learned their lesson the hard way. And the alpha men, the top dogs, the tall, rich, handsome men, have so many options they have almost no reason to ever date anyone seriously. This is why the Passport Brothers are going overseas and taking their money and resources with them. Men want fully feminine, twice as fit, twice as much fun women who give them half the problems and half the headaches. At the same time, the tax revenue that the 95 percenters pay via taxes also leaves, which means that the social safety nets for single mothers then get denied those resources. And what blows my mind is that women spent 30 years building the system we now have, and men, when Me Too rolled around, then realized that the only way to win was at a minimum, not to play. And if men want to win, the best way to do so is to go overseas. And men beat the woman design system in only 20 years, because at the end of the day, women in the West want the authority of a man, the privilege of a woman, and the lack of accountability of a child. No matter how you slice it, there are zero benefits and 100% risk for men to engage with Western women. This is what they want, 100% benefits and 0% responsibility. If you're a man with self-respect and play no games, you won't be caught dead with a post-wall woman. It's as simple as that. Well, always funny how modern women think they can demand a serious relationship after riding the CC for over a decade, only because they finally start hearing their very own biological clock ticking louder and louder. And to anyone actually believing a 31-year-old modern woman had only five, nine relationships, and you'll be lucky number 10, whom she will stay with for the rest of your life, I've here a very nice bridge I'd like to sell to you too. And it's not that men aren't interested in steady monogamous relationships. It's that when we do try to date them and find that outside the bedroom, these women are insufferable, making mountains out of disagreements that were originally insignificant. More people are learning to spot the signs of entitlement, narcissism, and borderline personalities. Here's the real science behind it. It's Chad who is not looking for a serious relationship. He never was. And women are only looking for Chad. Ergo, the men women are pursuing are not looking for serious relationships. Men want relationships with women that they could start a family with. It does not mean they intend to start a family with everyone, but you date ones who could be good mothers. Planting one seed has big consequences for men. At an instinctive level, we date a woman who is nice and trustworthy, with seed-worthy fertile soil, not disturbed or depleted. Recently on Reddit, I came across a story of a 31-year-old woman who believes she's a 10, but is agitated and says that every guy she dates doesn't want to commit to her. She's just another woman who rode the carousel in her 20s, choosing either Chad or Tyrone, thinking she could make a husband out of him, or she was shooting for men out of her league that was never really an option for her. It's always those magical early 30s when women start thinking about marriage, kids, and family life when the reality is that you waited too long and wasted your youthful years on all the wrong guys. Those good looks don't last forever. Now in their 30s, same age men are looking for girls in their 20s. You can blame feminism for that. Feminism is said to be free. Enjoy your youth, experiment, and chase your dreams. There will be time to start a family and get married if that's what you want. But you don't need a man. Stay on your career and be independent. Welcome to the reality. These women don't realize how much of a problem their personalities are. 
They think men just take for granted and will just go along with the worst, most entitled type of personality, not to mention feminism. The moment you hear any feminist buzzword or idea, run like hell. Be kind and polite, say you're not interested, but forget that person. If you're interested in wasting some time, try to ask her why she believes X or Y and see if you and she are good at reasoning. Maybe she's just been tricked, or maybe she's an activist. Stay very far away from the activists. Who wouldn't need a break after reading from or watching the circus of feminists? These women want to have serious relationships with Chad and Tyrone. Yet, when they find out that these guys only want hookups or flings, those same women will turn around and blame all men for their own decisions to go after the wrong types of guys in the first place. Claiming to be a 10 but acting like a 1 or a 2 is not going to make guys come and ask women out. There are three categories of women, wife material, side chick, and ghost immediately. Men can tell almost immediately which category a woman is in. The men that want to just have fun probably put her in the side chick category after noticing her behavior, then put her in the ghost immediately category when she didn't react positively. Commitment is something you don't decide after a couple of days, considering the risks a man takes by it. It requires months, if not years, to be sure of your partner, after having clearly stated and agreed on the conditions of the partnership. The problem is, older women don't get it, because their clock is ticking, and their options are narrowing. These women will never tell the truth about themselves. They aren't delusional. They know they are always lying to themselves and others, and putting up a facade of a persona, and they want others to perceive them as such. On the inside, they are just spoiled brats who refuse to grow up as growing up will make her look beyond the stupid games she is addicted to. I feel sorry for men who can't see through their BS and give compliments to them or even think about spending any time with them. I truly feel that women today like this to date new men looking for their one, while they already have that friend with benefits, they are comfortable with in the background, while they date. This way she can say things like that, that she doesn't do anything intimate with them, because she's already getting that elsewhere from someone she knows. That's why it never works. There is no age limit to dating or getting married. Lots of people get married over 40 in the real world. The internet makes it seem like you have to do everything right now, but you don't. You can take your time to find the right person. The secret is to not bother with looks, money, or status, but focus solely on finding someone whom you can be yourself around and whom you can talk to and connect with. That's all that matters in the end, because looks fade and money isn't everything. But the thing with these types of women is it won't matter if she succeeds in changing the guy or not. Either way, she will resent him for not being the man he used to be or for not wanting to stay with her. The cold, harsh truth is that modern feminism has ruined women and families. Men just don't want to deal with the bias, getting married being literally equal to betting your life, and other crap. It's less stressful and annoying to go your own way and build your own success without a leech. Thanks for watching Man Reacts. Show us your love and support by liking this video, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to the channel. Support us and help us spread support for men around the world. Do comment and share your thoughts. We're always up for a healthy debate and discussion. Healthy debate.